Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's teaching session. And I hope you pay attention to everything I'll be talking about today. I shared this, this post. I saw this post yesterday on Upwork social media handle. Then I, you know, I followed, I did a Google search, I followed the I thought I was I knew that since they posted it, because every quarter, Upwork is always making things like this. Sometimes every year, at the beginning of the year, sometimes at the end of the year, sometimes every quarter, they're always using their data to create things like this. So now, and I'm going to show you how you can use this to your advantage. Uh, I already mentioned it on my social media, but now I'm going to show you step by step how you can use this to your advantage. So I shared it. I shared this, and if you've not, if you've not um, gone through it. Maybe after this session, I want you to go through it. You might not have to read everything, but at least read the ones that is pertaining to your niche. Read the ones that yeah that know that that, that concern you. Let me use that English for those who understand that English. For those who don't understand, just read the ones that you know that is related to you, your niche, your skills or maybe your interests, just focus on that. Now, the whole article is 18 minutes. So if you want to read everything, have a knowledge for people like us that like to have a knowledge of our skills, I read everything. But if you don't want to read everything, you can pick what you want to read. This article is based on 25 highest paying freelance jobs in 2024. Upwork uses their data to create reports like this. You know, Upwork is a platform of over 900,000 clients. It's about 850,000 clients in their last report. So it's going to be more than that. Over 900,000 clients and millions of freelancers. To the, the last um, data I had access to is between five to seven million freelancers when they were reporting on their when they were reporting on their stock exchange. So they had to report all those data. So it was between five to seven million freelancers. I've forgotten the actual figure, but let's just we can work with seven million, five to seven million thereabouts. So we can work with any figure. But that gives you an idea of the amount of freelancers on the platform and also gives you an idea of the amount of clients on the platform. So with that data, with the amount of jobs, they pay about $4 billion per year. Figures like that, you can up out. They used to release figures like that. With that data, they can always use that. They have an economics team where they have PhD researchers that uses their data to create, you know, talking about that. Like, because they have like the best data when it comes to freelancing and remote work. Other, other companies, other people, it's difficult for us to aggregate data, but their own is aggregated, so we can use theirs as a benchmark. And that does not mean, for those who do research, you know that that does not mean that that's what the whole industry is saying, but at least that's, that their own data gives you an indication of what the industry looks like. So I'm just giving you that background now. This is what 25 highest paying freelance jobs in 2024, and they listed the old, so this was the video I saw on the platform that made me do the Google search. They listed the old 25 here, which can make you click to anyone and you know just get to it and click to any of them. I mean, one of the best, you know, when, as a SEO content writer, one of the things they did here, which they did, they had, they had a pool of content. They also have where you can you can just go straight to where you're looking for. So if you're a data analyst, for example, you can just click data analyst and go straight to data analyst so that you can read. Or so that means you don't want to read everything, just go straight to your what is what you're interested in reading. Now, if you're a cybersecurity person, click on cybersecurity. It takes you straight to cybersecurity. And, you know, as I said, you don't need to read. You don't need to go through everything. Now, this 25, also group this 25, tech, marketing, creative, business, financial. So you can also check. If you're a tech person, you can just check. Is my skills in the tech section. A marketing person, check the marketing. If you're a creative business. Just... Now, what are the things you can use this for? It's for guide. And what are the guidance you can use this for? For, num for number one, a lot of people will be like, especially when they are newbies, you don't know what skills to learn or they have plenty of skills they know how to do. They don't know which one to focus on. When a data when data report like this comes out that shows you the highest paying freelance job, it means that you can say, okay, if I see one or two skills here that are part of my skill sets, it means that I should double down on them because they are paying well. That's one of the things you can use this data for. I like I like it. I like data a lot. I don't know why I'm not a data analyst today. But I just like inferring the I do research. So that's why I like data. I like data. I'm a market researcher. I like data a lot. Now, so if you are 
a data person, if a data analyst, for example, you can check the one that is related and you see, okay, does do they have that? So you can see, I think that one is even under business jobs here. Yeah. A virtual assistant, you check, you know that, okay, yes, virtual assistant also pays where everything, blah, 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 like that. So this gives you an indication. And the second thing I like about this is also that for each, for each, for each data, for each data point, for the 25, they, they added their hourly rates there. For people, that don't, for people that don't know how to set what hourly rates they want to set, they put everything there. Like, as you can see, you can see, for example, they are telling you that data analysts, they charge between $10 to $20 per hour. So you can see. That means that you can set that. This, this is average. But it gives you an idea to say, okay, if you want to, if you want to create your virtual assistant profile today, you should set it at 10 or 20 or 15 or but between but that if you set it between 10 and 20 you are the average some set it above some set it below but this gives you an idea so this is what i like about this data report like it makes you gives you all the whole like it gives you this niche it gives you tells you about what are all of them are you know very very cool niches copywriting according to their data and see they're telling you that it's growing growing by four percent and their median rate is even median rates between so the media average between 19 and 45 dollar per hour. So it gives you also added project listing that you can click on to check project catalogs for each of the each of the niches. So you can click on any of them. For example, if this is copywriting, you can click on this, for example, it takes you to copywriting project catalogs. I remember what I tell you about checking project catalogs to learn. You know, what I tell you about checking project catalogs to give you an idea of, you know. What you know to learn from, so that's that's another thing you can you can uh, can use you can use it for. That's another thing you can use the this thing for. So, after your skill set, what you currently have is not here. Maybe you can add anything here as your supporting skill set, or if you want to learn any skills, if you are not sure about what to learn, this gives you an idea to tell you that okay, I'm on the right track. I'm on the right path. This is that's what this data is for, and. You've not gone through it. It's good you go through it. You know it helps you. you know, I know they do these things to help the industry, the freelancing industry. It also in turn helps them because the more they grow, the more freelancers come to their platform. They make more money. Blah blah blah. But I just like how they create data like this. And another thing is this, which I want to show you the second side, that if you go to Upwork websites, I've showed you this before for those of you that have been with me for long. You go to Upwork websites. All you can go. You don't need to log in. Just go to their main page. Scroll down, scroll down. When you scroll down, they're always listing the top jobs. See, as you can see here, always listing the top skills per quarter. They update it every quarter. That means you can check your skill sets here. Check the skill sets here. They're always listing the top skills per quarter, always listing the trending skills per quarter. Top skills in the US, US is their main market, apart from the you know world. And Top project catalogs per quarter. So it means that these are the top skills in the last quarter. Entering Q4 very soon. October will be Q4. So that means that this will be updated very soon. If you come to October, at least you'll see one or two things will change here. But as you can see here. So that means that, as you can see, resume writer is here. It's not, we didn't see the resume writer, the top 25. Maybe resume is writing is number 30. We didn't enter top 25. But it's still a top, it's still, it's still a skill to have. Let's say you're a resume writer, I still fine. So, what am I trying to tell you? I'm trying to tell you that go through first of all, number one, go through this. This, um, this, if you've not gone through it, as I say you don't need to read everything, focus on the one that relates to you. If you're a project manager, check project management, a digital marketing person, check digital marketing, if you're a virtual assistant, check that virtual assistant. And if you're interested in understanding skills, you can read everything. That's number one thing for you to do, and number two, two things. For you to this, go to the home page, go to Upwork's home page and check the top skills again. You know, just using that, check the top skills per quarter and use that to help you to guide yourself. Check trending skills, and this helps you, as I said, to always make you know that you're on the right track. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've learned and also check project catalogs too for services, you know. It tells you what are what are people requesting for, what are the services people are requesting for, email marketing services, podcast editing. You know, there's a lot of podcasts out there. Podcast editing, influencer marketing, e-commerce, WordPress, Photoshop. So it helps you, it guides you. 
Is me writing is here again, second time. SU. Can you see QA? Podcast market. We are seeing podcasts twice now. You know, there's a lot of podcasts out there. So if you are a podcast person, podcast lead gen, you know that that's a very, very hot cake market. Even lead gen on its own, as you can see too. So video editing services. We are posting videos on Instagram, TikTok, everything. Social media management. A lot of people are trying to be on the social media. So you can see this guides you, guides your skill set, and you use them well everything into dollars for yourself i hope with this few point of mine i've been able to guide you convince you and put you on the right track on the right track yeah thank you very much